In this video, we're going to look at our display and text size options we have available to us on the iPad and iPhone. We're going to look at this through accessibility. With accessibility, we have more options than just changing the text size and making a bold. In addition to that, we can also make these changes, display and text size changes to a specific app. Let's see what I mean. Let's go to my iPad and iPhone. Let's first look at this on my iPad. In order to view all of the different settings we have available to us for display and text size, what we need to do is go over to our settings app. Now again, what we're going to be doing is looking at this through accessibility. So what I need to do is go over to accessibility. Under accessibility, you're going to see display and text size. Now why am I focusing on this when I know that I can go over to my display and brightness here and adjust my text size and make it bold. Well, when we go back over to our accessibility options and then we go over to display and text size, we have more options. We can still adjust our text size and we can make it bold, but we can also reduce the transparency. We can add color filters. We can even turn on button shapes to make things easier to read. So let's go ahead and tap on this and see the different options we have. I tap on it. And our first couple of options here are for bold text and larger text. These are the same options that you'll see under display and brightness. I can turn on bold text and I can go and adjust the size of the text. But also what we have here are button shapes on and off labels and I can reduce the transparency. With button shapes, what it'll do is it'll add a button shape to our buttons. This is a button here. When I turn on button shapes, what it does is basically add an underline here. Not necessarily a shape, but it does indicate that it is a button. And in some cases, it will actually become a button. But in most cases, you're just going to see an underline there. But it does give us an indication that it is a button. I also have on-off labels. What are these? Well, if we go over to the right, you're going to see that this one slider for on-off labels has a little zero for it. That means that it is off. When I turn this on, now we have an I there, and also you're going to see, or I should say we have a one there, ones and zeros, it's binary. Also you're going to see that all of my sliders here have that same indicator. So these are the on-off labels. It's basically ones and zeros, it's binary. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. I can also reduce the transparency. This will increase the contrast so it makes things easier to read when something is transparent. And then I can also just increase the contrast altogether. You can use a combination of both of these by turning these both on, again, to make things easier to read. I also have differentiate without color. This will replace user interface items that rely solely on color with something else, basically making them easier to read. I can use a Smart Invert. Smart Invert will reverse the colors of the display except for images. You may have seen it when you invert something. If you have an image, it's also going to invert the color of that image or the colors of that image. So it's going to look like a negative. Well, with Smart Invert, what the iPad does is it tries to figure out when it is in a situation like that and it will not invert the colors for a photograph, as an example, or a movie. You also have just classic invert, which will just invert everything. I can also apply color filters. With color filters, I can apply any one of these colors to my screen. Or if I want to make a grayscale, I can also tap on the slider here, and you can see I have grayscale as well as a few other filters. And this does apply to the entire display, including all of the apps. Let's go back. I can reduce the white point again. What this will do is make things a little bit easier to read. It's not so bright. You may have noticed that when something is really bright, it makes it harder to read. So what you can do is you can reduce those bright points. And then I have auto brightness. I can turn this off and then the iPad will not change the brightness of the display automatically. So those are the different settings for display and text size. Now when I turn these on, it does apply to the iPad globally. So it applies to every app on the iPad. Doesn't matter what app I'm in. I can be in the settings app. I can be on the home screen. I could be in numbers. I could be in pages. It applies globally to all apps. 
If you want to apply to a specific app, maybe you have an issue with a specific app, then what you do is you go back over to accessibility here, and when you go down to the bottom here, you're going to see per app settings. We have a lot of the same settings here, but what we can do is we can set it up on a per app basis. Let's go ahead and tap on it. I go and add my app. So I just tap on which app I want to control or change. So let's just go with books here. And then once I add books in here, what I'm able to do is make a lot of these same changes for that app only. So we can make these changes globally or we can make them on a per app basis. So with per app settings, what we're able to do is change all of these same settings and just apply it to a specific app. I'm going to go back and if I want to remove this app, I just swipe to the right and I can go and delete it. Now we have the same options for the iPhone. Let's go over to the iPhone here and you're going to see I have a lot of the same options. I go over to settings. And again, I go over to accessibility. Under accessibility, we have our display and text size. This will assign any changes globally to all of the apps on my iPhone. So I tap on it and you're gonna see I have a lot of the same options here. Any changes I make are going to be applied globally to my iPhone. If I want to make changes to a specific app, what I would do is I would Go back over to accessibility. I'm in accessibility here. And then if you go all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see per app settings. I go and add my app. I go and add the app. And then from here, what I'm able to do is make changes on this app only. If I want to remove the app, I just swipe over to the right and I can remove that app. Now it's going to go back to the default settings. So those are the different display and text size options we have on the iPad and iPhone when we use accessibility. In addition to changing the text size and making a bold, we can also increase the contrast, we can apply color filters, we can apply shapes to buttons. We can even do this on a per app basis. So instead of applying these settings to all of our apps, we can apply these settings to a specific app. Each app can have its own specific settings. This is all done through the accessibility options we have in the settings app. So those are our display and text size options we have with accessibility on the iPad and iPhone.